Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we are going to be making a very special custom. I have Twilight Sparkle here from the Guardians of Harmony and we're going to transform her into Queen Chrysalis. And the reason why I am using Twilight Sparkle is because of her facial expression. She has this very angry look on her face and I think she will look very good as Queen Chrysalis. And also, the other thing that I'm going to do differently is I'm only going to do half of Chrysalis. As many of you know, Queen Chrysalis actually pretended to be Princess Cadence. So for this custom, I want to do half Queen Chrysalis and half Princess Cadence. I think this is going to take a lot of work because it's almost like making two customs at once. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is take off the tail and the wings. We're going to put those to the side. And we're also going to take off Twilight's hair. So I've already done that and cut it off. Then with some air dry clay, we're going to fill in the gaps on Twilight's head. This will make it a little bit smoother for the new hair to go on. And now before we do anything else, we're going to slice her horn. So I am so sorry Twilight, but we're going to cut off half of her horn this way. Because on the right side, we're going to have Queen Chrysalis and she has a different horn. Now we're going to paint the left side Princess Cadence's color, which is pink. So we're going to paint only the left half of the body. Using a pencil, I drew a line down the body. This is where the break is going to be between the two ponies. Now on the right side, I'm going to paint it a very dark bluish gray color. I'm going to draw the line first, and then we're going to paint it just on the right side. This is actually kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> Using a light teal color, I'm going to draw in the eyes on the right side. It's going to be a round circle. And then using dark green mixed with some light green, I'm going to draw the irises. With black, we're going to draw a very narrow pupil. With a lighter bluish gray color, I'm going to paint the upper lids. We're going to line the eyes with black and draw in the eyelashes. And of course, we're going to dot it with white. On the left side, I'm going to use white to draw in the eyes. Then we'll give her purple irises. And black pupils. Once again with black, we're going to line the top of her eye. Give her some eyelashes. And also line the bottom of her eye. Alright, moving on, we're going to get some gold. I'm going to paint half a necklace on Princess Cadence's side. And also golden shoes on her hooves. I think it's kind of weird we're just doing two. One more thing for Princess Cadence, we're going to take Twilight's wings, I've already painted it pink, and I'm going to add some purple tips to it. So I'm going to paint the purple on, then with pink, we're going to blend it down. So this makes it look like a gradient. Alright, now we're ready for the mane and tail. This time, I'm going to be using oven bake colored clay so that I don't have to paint it afterwards. Here I have Wisteria, Lemonade, and Candy Pink. They are the perfect colors for Princess Cadence. For the tail, we're going to start off with pink in this S kind of shape. And then we're going to roll a log of yellow, making it a little bit pointy at the end. Then we're going to take that tip and curl it in a little bit. 
and I'm going to take the pink and put it right underneath and stack it. I'm going to blend it together. Then we're going to take a roll of purple and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to roll the tip and we're going to put this right under the pink. Now we need to make the tail for our Queen Chrysalis. First we need to mix the clay. I have a chunk of blue and black here and we're going to just keep blending it and blending it until the colors are well mixed. Once it's done, you can see that it's this bluish gray color. So we're going to flatten it out. Using an X-Acto knife, we're going to cut out the tail. I'm going to use Princess Cadence's tail as guide to make sure they're about the same size. And then we'll make sure to slice up the bottom so that it's a little bit more jagged. For the holes, I'm going to take the tubes from my paintbrushes and we're just going to press it in and cut out little holes on the tail. And finally, with the two tails, I'm going to put them together and blend it in a little bit. Now for the horn, taking another piece of the clay, I'm going to cut out the shape of the horn. I'm going to put this on the right side of the horn. Using more clay, I'm going to cut out pieces of the mane. After cutting it out and shaping it, I'm going to punch holes in them too. So here's the first piece, I'm going to blend it onto the top of the head. Now I'm going to cut out a second piece and do the same thing. And one more strip on the front. Alright, now we're ready for Princess Cadence's mane. I'm going to take a strip of yellow and we're going to curl it at the bottom. Then we're going to take another strip of pink. I'm going to attach that to the bottom of the yellow. And we're going to do one more with the purple. So with the purple, we're going to Curl the bottom and attach it behind the pink. So now we can take the three pieces and attach it on the top of the head on the left side. We're also going to take a small chunk and place it on the back. And finally, with a little bit of green and teal, we're going to paint a saddle on the right side. Alright everyone, so my custom is done and take a look. This is actually really, really cool. I love this half-half um, transformation look. <laughs> So of course on the right side is Queen Chrysalis. She is very dark and on the right side she looks very very angry. You can see her mane here with all these holes in it. She has her saddle and also her wings. This wing actually came from a Queen Chrysalis figure so I didn't make this wing but um, I like it because it's um, transparent. But of course I did make the tail and you can see the tail down here is really dark. You can see the little uh, tail waving in the air. And 
on the left side we have Princess Cadence. She's also looking pretty angry but she looks more upset at what's happening to her <laughs> than anything else. But she is a beautiful pink color. She has her cutie mark here. She has her golden shoes. Of course her mane is super beautiful with the bright colors. So I really liked using the colored clay. I think um, it came out a lot more vibrant, especially after glazing it. And of course her wings is also two-toned. And um, up here, let me just show you an up close look, up close look at her horn. So here's her horn on the left, and Queen Chris's horn on the right, and her crown too. So her crown is also divided. <laughs> So this was a lot of fun to make. Let me know down below in the comment section if you like these types of half transformation customs and maybe I'll make a few more. And as always, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!